call it love for one's job, or rather the significance of being a minister in the country. Whoever circulated a fake list purported to contain the list of the new cabinet ministers succeeded at least in one thing, raising the heartbeats of those ministers. Many could be seen making a series of phone calls to ascertain their fate, the factor that took the clearance from the Uganda Government Media Center to put to rest. On uh, this one, yeah. but it looks very more it looked legit, yeah. Mm. yeah. It looks very legitimate. And so as the rumors made rounds in the corridors of parliament, many hopefuls as well became restless, fidgeting to find out if they had graduated to the front bench. And as such, we took time to seek the views of some of the ministers captured on the list to have been transferred. In the ideal, a minister would be expected to have the ears of the president, but it appears he has since learned to keep his cards close to his chest. Because I have not been told, I have not seen anything. I am hearing it from you. I don't know. <laughs> At least for now, the ministers can take a deep sigh, retreat to their air-conditioned offices, sit comfortably on the front bench of parliament and nod in approval to calls of an honourable minister. But this scenario will probably go down history as one of those instances when the nation was taken for a ride. Whether or not a genuine reshuffle is on the way remains a privilege of the appointing authority. Sabit Joseph, Davis Television, Parliament.